Michael Saylor, the co-founder and executive chairman of MicroStrategy, has emerged as one of the most prominent figures in the world of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. There is a hundred percent certainty that you're going to lose 80% of your money in most currencies over the next decade. However, his journey to becoming a Bitcoin maximalist was not a straight path. Let's dive into Michael Saylor's early life and explore how he went from an aerospace engineer to a Bitcoin evangelist. Michael Saylor was born on February 4, 1965, in Lincoln, Nebraska. His early life was shaped by his father's career in the U.S. Air Force, which led the family to live on various military bases around the world. Saylor pursued higher education at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, where he earned dual degrees in aeronautics and astronautics, as well as science, technology, and society. It was at MIT that he met Sanju Banzel, his future co-founder at MicroStrategy. After college, Saylor worked as a consultant for companies like DuPont, Dow, and Exxon, developing computer simulations to predict changes in key markets. In 1989, he co-founded MicroStrategy with Sanju Banzel, a company that initially focused on data mining software before expanding into business intelligence, mobile software, and cloud-based services. MicroStrategy experienced tremendous success in its first decade, with Saylor becoming one of the most well-known tech executives. During the dot-com bubble, he amassed significant wealth due to his stake in the company, becoming a multi-billionaire. However, the dot-com bust and some questionable accounting practices at MicroStrategy led to a restatement of financial results in 2000. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged Saylor and two other MicroStrategy executives for inaccurate financial reporting. MicroStrategy stock plummeted 62% in a single day after the company announced its accounting mistakes, and Saylor's personal net worth fell by $6 billion. Saylor kept a low public profile through the early 2000s, continuing to serve as MicroStrategy's CEO and working to rebuild the company's wealth. Michael Saylor's journey into the world of Bitcoin began through a long-standing friendship with Eric Weiss, the CEO of Blockchain Investment Group. Weiss, an early Bitcoin adopter, shared his enthusiasm for the cryptocurrency with Saylor. Initially, Saylor remained indifferent to Bitcoin, preoccupied with running MicroStrategy in the highly competitive software industry. However, the uncertainties of the pandemic in 2020 led to discussions at Saylor's home during quarantine that focused on politics, economies, and investments. It was during this period of global uncertainty that Saylor became receptive to Bitcoin, recognizing Bitcoin's potential as a hedge against economic upheaval. He eagerly absorbed information about the cryptocurrency and conducted a deep dive into its fundamentals. Saylor's newfound interest in Bitcoin quickly evolved into a passion. He transitioned from a student to a teacher, embracing the digital asset and sharing his knowledge with others. What's the cost of doing nothing? What's the cost of not taking a risk? What's the risk-free rate? In July 2020, Saylor announced MicroStrategy's intention to explore purchasing Bitcoin, gold, and other assets to add to the company's balance sheet. In August 2020, MicroStrategy used $250 million from its treasury assets to buy 21,454 Bitcoin. The company made additional purchases in the following months, swapping cash for Bitcoin as its reserve asset. By December 2020, MicroStrategy's Bitcoin ownership was valued at $1 billion. Saylor's personal investment in Bitcoin mirrored MicroStrategy's strategy. In October 2020, he announced that he personally purchased 17,732 Bitcoin at an average price of 9,882. By October 2021, the Bitcoin seller personally held was worth over $1 billion, reflecting an unrealized capital gain of over 500%. Sailors' all-in approach to Bitcoin and the extraordinary returns it generated solidified his belief in the cryptocurrency's potential. In 2021, as Bitcoin's price began to decline, Saylor posted a tweet declaring himself a Bitcoin maximalist. Bitcoin maximalism is a belief that Bitcoin is inherently superior to all other digital assets 
and that in the long term it will be the only digital asset that survives and provides actual value. This conviction fuels sellers' decision to not just invest in Bitcoin but to hold it with unwavering commitment. Michael Saylor's journey from an aerospace engineer to a Bitcoin evangelist is a testament to his adaptability and forward-thinking approach. Despite facing setbacks in his career such as dot-com burst and the accounting scandals, Saylor persevered and ultimately found his calling in the world of cryptocurrency. As MicroStrategy's executive chairman and a prominent Bitcoin maximalist, Saylor continues to advocate for the adoption of Bitcoin and its integration into corporate finance. His story serves as an inspiration for those who seek to embrace new technologies and navigate the ever-changing landscape of the financial world.